Like, ain't nobody covers harder than Pee Wee Longway. You know what I mean? You got the hardest I, I wish covers. I would have had a screen tape, but I guess I ain't kidding. You had that. a screen tape. I did. I did the first one. Me, me and Rip and the Kings. He look at you, bro. Yeah, you know, I'm a stoner. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> I'm I did the very stoner. first one. I came to the lo- I came to the, uh, the spot and everything. <laughs> <laughs> definitely a stoner. <laughs> You're listening to Big Facts with Big Bank and DJ Scream. Live from First Class Sounds, you know who it is, DJ Scream. Big Bank is here, Baby Jade is here. This is a very, 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 very special edition of Big Facts. It's a lot going on. It's the 100th episode. You know what First I'm saying? Of all. And the most requested motherfucker on the planet Earth for Big Facts decided to pull up on his Pee Wee Long Way. Finally! Thank, thank you, my brother, for long pulling way, up. Long way, long way. For the hundredth episode, my brother. How, how you been, man? Where you been? How you been? Great, man. Everything's good? Stay in my distance. Stay in your distance, <laughs> right? What's up with Pee Wee Long Way, man? We got to get into the real what's up. I mean, I think the biggest thing is fans and music and more music. They want more music. First of all, wait, before y'all before y'all start or whatever, I just got to, like, the day two episode, things I got to let the world be known. He just dropped us off, like, ten packs of sprinkles. So we're going to be high, like, probably until next season. We got enough weed, you know what I'm saying, for that. And this is a little-known fact that, like, nobody knows, but Pee Wee was the first nigga ever to buy cupcakes for me. And, like, to make me understand, like, that it was some shit that, like, it was a product that I needed to sell. And, you know what I'm saying, that it was, like, you know, some shit, like, that needed to be marketed. And that shit, like, that's a huge deal because if it wasn't for him, there would be no JD Cakes, like, real shit. Okay. And if I would have known he was going to be here, I would have had a pack for him waiting, like, for real, for real. I'm going to get that shit together. I was going to say Kanye. They say Kanye finna get that man some money. Man, 20 years from now. 20. 20 years later, I got this nigga. Whatever 20. it is. Alright. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> wow, but you look good too, bro. What you been on? You know, Jet, we, we um we um cut back on a whole bunch of meats and shit. I don't hmm. drink no lean and all that other crazy shit, you know what I'm saying? You kick the lane? Yeah. Yes, yeah, sir. But you had to go. You had to go sit down and kick it, or you just yeah. said, "Fuck it, close up." Yeah, you know I don't gotta sit down and do nothing. Now, that takes, that, <laughs> hell, not nah, that the wrong, wrong answer, right? That <laughs> no, that's, you know some nigga do though. Some nigga be fucked up when that. Sh- some nigga be fucked up on the drink. Now, how we? They, so you saying they gotta go sit down the wig? It? Mm-hmm. Not sit down, like you know, go to like a facility, a counselor, all type of shit. Some like, nigga be fucked up real. on that shit. Niggas be like, hell yeah, that shit be crazy. I ain't had to do that. You just got strong will. Yeah, that's what I did too though. We be fucked up drinking this shit. <laughs> <laughs> long way, long way. The first thing is, where is the motherfucking music? Because because I've yeah, been to the spots before. You got plenty of music. What's going on? Nigga, don't be putting that shit out, bro. Yeah, straight yeah. up. It, 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 it's a different rollout about to come out. I, 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 owe, I owe that to you, JD uh, tapes. <laughs> 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 yeah, it's like man, this nigga got man. So much shit, bro. When they're he do like, drop, though, you be having the hardest covers. I'm going to tell you. Like, ain't nobody covers harder than Pee Wee Longway. You know what I mean? You got the hardest covers. I, I wish covers. I would have had a screen tape, but I guess I ain't kidding. You had that. a screen tape. I did. I did the first one. Me, me and Rip and the Kings. He look at you, bro. Yeah, you know, I'm a stoner. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> I did the stoner. very first one. I came to the, lo- I came to the, uh, the spot and everything. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely a stoner. Hey, how hard do you think it is for a nigga who already... Was having paper able to get paper out the street to be just 100 percent focused on the music. Yeah, speak on that. And putting speak out on music that. and shit. Say that one more time, bro. Come on with the game. Mm-hmm. Like, no, you no like to. how, like how, how, how hard is it for <laughs> a nigga that's used to that's like I already was a boss before the music shit, shit. Getting all, getting all his money out of the street to kick the habit and to focus strictly on music being is how difficult it is to try to do both and be successful without getting caught up in either one of the two you know i'm, I'm gonna answer that because everybody trapped so we all trapped so by me being one of them trapped persons yeah because nigga yeah because yes. you were like trapped. heavy in the game we all like, tra- no you just trapped we, we all trapped you know what i'm saying you trapped too i see you every day yeah <laughs> <laughs> you out here with me yeah yeah for sure but for shit, sure. you know doing my little journey i don't you know I, I i can't i can't say what nobody else can do but i did the same thing black did 
Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Keep back cool it, man. Um, stay focused. I'm saying how hard is this shit? Like, <laughs> me. how hard is it? Like, I know how. It's very hard. I don't say yeah. It's, it's I mean, it, especially difficult. if you got motion. And yeah, if you're successful in this already. But it ain't hard if you got it, ambition. Not if this is something that can 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 feed all of us in right here. I I With take no this, risk. Yeah, I go yeah. there. It ain't so. I, I find yeah. it not being hard at all. Yeah, I feel that it's. I feel that it's. It become like. I mean, because you know, we all had to sit there and be like, "Damn, I'm finna verse, or I want to leave." <laughs> but yeah. you gotta leave. I want finna verse. I want to catch play. What you saying? I'm saying go leave. I don't. I want. I don't. I Not said, you. I'm saying a nigga. That, this is what I'm saying. All the way. <laughs> nigga in the streets getting money. Like I'm getting money, which niggas have been, like easy. Like I'm successful in this. But I also fuck around and have a talent. Do you think that kind of... Man, you discover that talent around about the same time. Facts. 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 We got a song to an old song. I got that shit hard to... <laughs> Both of them. <laughs> Just started out. That's what I'm saying. So. <laughs> but I'm saying like... You know, basically what I'm saying is like the transition of the shit. I, yeah, I get what you're saying. Like how hard it is. It, it's very... Be honest, you know it's very hard, bro, to, to um stop money to go get some more money. I don't find that being hard at all. But 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 generally, <laughs> generally you taking a little bit of whoever would be taking <laughs> whoever would be taking <laughs> whoever would be taking a little bit of a pay cut. I think that's kind of what they get in there too. Like you kind of leave us start, a sh- like you already up here yeah. doing this, so you, you gotta, gotta go start kind of be a rookie in the grind somewhere. area to do this. Like you a veteran here, but you gotta go be a rookie somewhere else. But you know you're gonna. It, you know it's gonna work, but we're gonna take the same ground right there, right there. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Moving forward, you said you got a rollout for this new music, and I'm only complaining to you because the fans complain to us. Are they gonna get more music moving forward? Mocus, Mocus system. Of course. Yes. Yes. A lot of more. Music. A lot of more music. I'm, I'm unstoppable, first and foremost. Got you. And we're gonna go on and roll it out to 23. Okay. Yeah, man. Joy. Joy. <laughs> so basically, what I'm trying to say, do you enjoy? Having sprinkles or rhymes the most, like when you don't got no show, what you gonna do? What you gonna do? Huh? I'm just saying you gotta make your back end, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> he said, if you ain't have big facts to shit show, what would you enjoy? No, I'm saying, the most? No, I'm saying the not for sure. Slow is the day. Can't nobody come outside. COVID. Mm. Yeah. Mm. And then you you start this shit and this shit take I off. I didn't get booked Thursday. I'm saying this Friday. <laughs> <laughs> but you ain't get get booked because you ain't putting out music. That mean that's that because the day they they didn't want to book me that weekend. I'm gonna book the next weekend. It just I might be booked that Saturday. I supposed to be in my mind. I supposed to be booked Friday, Saturday, Sunday. If I can Thursday, Friday. So them days got to be made up some kind of way. You think oh, we got it. Yeah, I see what you're saying. But if you think if you were putting out the music, was, and yeah. if I were putting out the music, hey, plug the camera back up, man. Your cameraman tripping over there, man. He wigging, man. <laughs> I, I met him right here. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that husky man. That's the the biggest one. big facts <laughs> ever. The hundred <laughs> episode. Yes, God damn it. Yes. This is big facts. And we're off to a great start. <laughs> no, <for Yes>. real. <laughs> <laughs> this is big facts. But now I get what you're saying. Basically, like that shit. Whether whether you get booked or not, that shit is already accounted for. So, even if you aren't booked, shit, that shit still got to be made, basically. So get, that's what it is. If you train like that, I get what, like that, get what get, I'm saying. I get what you're saying. What I'm saying. That everything good. <laughs> <laughs> this is why we ain't been waiting on. We ain't been waiting on this thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Shit, what you want me to say, nigga? <laughs> <laughs> what I'm saying is, do you think you what I'm don't put the right. music out because I know how to get paper anyway? That's what I'm asking. That's like, something that's... I can't take from black. Ever in life. <laughs> what that? Stop from getting money. Yeah. I can't stop Jay from getting money. I can't stop... Anybody from getting a hustle, a hustle gonna hustle. Stop, I get it. Get I get it. Money. Yeah, uh, yeah. hustle don't stop. Yeah. They keep going. I overstand. I overstand. Yeah. yeah. Anytime, my nigga. Yeah. <laughs> how, 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 how often you chop it up with uh Gucci? How often you chop it up with Thug? Uh, 
I, I just left. I had put all night with Thug. Actually, just now we just he just did a song for me. Shout okay. out to Thug. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna go right. back tonight and do some more music. All right. Um, that is hard. I, I I see Guat when I see Guat. He he DM me. He 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 DM me before he text me. Man, he just sitting <laughs> like that. My brother, you know. Mm -hmm. But you know, Guat doing Guat. Mm -hmm. Long way. Do a long way. Hey, there he is. <laughs> <laughs> This is going to be real straight to the <laughs> yes. point. I like it. Yes. So look, right? So my question to you is, because I know that um, you have two beautiful children. I ain't no man. Two beautiful children. So how do you balance life being, okay, long way to trapper, peewee long way to rapper, and daddy? Like chance to rapper, trap, like chant, like chant trapper. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I, you got like you got you, you definitely got the way that you, I think they they come first because I got to um do whatever she say they do before um I leave out the door. If I don't make it, I I had to try to rush home right and do what I got to do right. But um they first and then clients and shit, you know. Yeah, 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 for sure. Um, and then uh, music, Pee Wee Long Way shit. Music. Okay. Take it back from where all this shit started from, like before a nigga. I'm Pee -wee kicking it with you, bro. Nah, bro, I'm talking about before that. Before all that. Before all that. Like. Wait, my boy, that nigga here, he know how to ship that shit, bro. Yes. Yeah. Bro, you know what I'm trying to say. Like, that nigga too smart, bro. Like. <laughs> I seen a meme one time they, he was on another interview nigga was like if you ever in a t this, if a nigga ever in an interrogation room I wanted to be with him with me like this nigga know how not to say nothing I don't want me with him no <laughs> I don't want to get interrogated I'm ready for you to keep interrogating oh, me but they do that hey no you know what I'm saying no, hey, I did what you saying where, where, where it started at for you to make you want to hustle get some money whatever what it was that made you want some paper I seen a nigga like black out there, man. I'm like, shit, boy. Oh my God. Tell, no, I'm saying, I'm telling the truth. I'm telling the truth. I'm telling the truth. Telling the truth. Just like, black you inspired me, man. Like, my partner. For sure, man. <laughs> Bank inspired a lot of niggas to get money in this city. Fizz got asked when they asked when they paid cash for them. Oh, nah, for sure that right <laughs> That's now. all I'm saying. Nah, yeah. Right, right, okay, right. now. Okay, okay now. Excellent. Let me get with you on this shit, man. <laughs> Bruh. We I'm excited, you. bro. You got you right here. This is a milestone for us. One hundred episode. I ain't never did one nothing a hundred times. <laughs> so I got some pussy. I never did nothing a hundred times, bro. So this shit major for us. We happy to have a long way here, a real Atlanta nigga that's been around this motherfucker. I'm doing really his excited. thing, staying in his excited. lane. I'm super excited because this love right that's here. That's my bro. baby. Sure. Yes. What what is the real Atlanta from long way perspective? Break just break it down. When people say real Atlanta, what is real Atlanta? So the folks will know watching nationwide. Jay? Right? Jay, okay. <laughs> real Atlanta, man. Jay yeah. set that shit up for me. <laughs> <laughs> set it up for long. <laughs> set it up. Nah, for like I'm, keep, I'm drinking. I ain't. <laughs> Yeah, hey, yeah, give me a shot, man. I'm going to break it up. Come on, give me a shot, man. You got one? What is it right here? <coughs> Let me see the bottle. I'm going to just, I'm gonna just shout out the bottle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What that was you just had? Pop the bottle. You know what you just unpulled me? <laughs> what you know what I'm saying? Bad drink. Yeah, we're going to we gonna freeze on that for right. right now, yeah. But yeah, Jade, okay, what's the real Atlanta? Why you Why you getting it right? Let's talk about the real Atlanta, everybody. To me, okay, I like that screen. Yeah. To me, though, the if you were here before the Olympics, man, you yeah. can sit yourself. Here, you here before the Olympics, the Ouija board, right? Yeah. If you, the Ouija. Man, like if Freak you were Nick here, 90. like when the projects were up, then, oh, like, there you go. You're the real Atlanta, like Techwood. If you've been to like Capitol Homes, Capitol you've been to Perry Homes, you've been Perry to Jonesboro Homes. South, you've been to like all of these places. Like, He's late with black. Wait, you, you, Ed Wood with black phone. Yeah, like all that shit. Like, if you've been kick. there, and you, were, you know what I'm saying, you've gone there and you were allowed to, like, come back or, you know, frequent those different areas and sections without a problem, then, like, even if you had a problem, because niggas been beefing in the city, like, since the beginning of time. But mm -hmm. as long as you serve. I'm sorry. As long as you survived and like made it out of that shit, you then technically you're the real Atlanta. Mm. That's 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 from an older point of view. If you born here, 
<laughs> so you got to survive like the army people. I, yeah. mm-hmm. That's survivor, fine. survivor. You survive. Back in those days, the city was treacherous. Remember the uh, so boy, treacherous. I, I don't you. do that, long. When y'all was growing up, that shit was fine. The floor. You, you talk. <laughs> Y'all, wow. It ain't me. I'm a whole nother nigga, but I'm on the podcast. I'm sorry. We ain't kidding. I don't know, dude. Every saint has a past and every sinner has a future. I don't know that, man. You keep talking about <laughs> We talk about uh, podcaster. Seen that new Jay Z movie. <laughs> this the man come back, man. Gotta yeah. come back. You gotta come back. Yeah. You lay down, you a fool. I drink to that. Let me take another me shot. Me too. Man. Give me one. You lay down, you a fool, boy. Yo, we all just gonna be drunk. Oh no, nah, this is what it is. We vibing out. We locked in. We can't get, get no answers out there, nigga. So we don't have to be a boy, nigga. I'm with but you. But then we finish the real. Know you with me, Jay. But sure then we finish the fine. real Atlanta. So the real Atlanta is. What's your definition of it? I Anybody mean, think... that got it in their heart, to me. Thank you. I like that. That black definition. Yeah, What's I your like definition? That. I I agree with him. What he said. So are we gonna go so far as to where niggas were born? Is is that gonna be considered real Atlanta also? Yeah, I eh. mean, like the Grady's and the Crawford Longs. That's just that's Baptist just some street and... myth shit. If you born in Atlanta, man, it don't matter. If you born in the Crawford, got them some shit all in. Nah, no, I ain't gonna give you that. Why? Talk to him, Jay. Go ahead, yeah, go ahead, no, really go ahead, like... go ahead, go ahead. Cause I was born in Grady Hospital. Okay, more. then. Yeah, I was born, born in Crawford Long. I was just trying to say Fair something. I know it was Midtown, born in... but it's still Atlanta. But <laughs> fucking um. So can the Cater niggas be real Atlanta? Nah, no, they you real. Born in Decatur, real. So if you born in Crawford Long, you ain't the real Atlanta. Cause we consider Grady, you no, gotta be born in Grady. What was you born in Decatur? Huh? You can't be real Atlanta if you was born in Decatur. That just was shit, niggas say just to make it seem like to me. Question: Did the people you real Decatur? Oh. You ain't real Atlanta. Go to Decatur Hospital and go to Grady. Go to Crawford Long and go back to Grady. And you tell me the difference. From the interest. Everything. And you gonna understand why he a Grady back. Something about that Grady. So my verse to but everybody around my age was born at Grady. <laughs> my first <laughs> dude. I feel like, and I also feel like, if you haven't been to like certain milestones, then you're not really from Atlanta. Like, if you haven't eaten at like a fucking a busy bee or like a Walters on Cleveland or, you know what I'm saying? Chantrell. Some shit like that. Chantrell's in the West End. Like, you're not really from Atlanta if you haven't been to like you can't you can't can't, you can't say, know, can't say that because they folk got yeah. they eating they hood and they can't yes, they gonna talk can't about say they that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you gotta okay. think, bro. We we used to be mm-hmm. niggas. It's some niggas that didn't even know how, like I say didn't know how to get the Lennox, bro, mm-hmm. in the hood. Mm-hmm. So you can't say. Yeah, right. I did learn about Lennox. We did a lot of shit because we were hustlers right. and we was around right. doing what we want to do. Right. Niggas who can't move around can't move around. No matter where you from. I was dressing like black, man. If I was in it, man. For real. Man, that stuff I don't know. See what I'm saying? You got to think about it, black. I just, I just went down a little bit. I had to go that way. You had that stuff on, you know, you put that shit on, and you trap gear. You don't know what kind of gear he got on. See what I'm saying? He one of them guys that'll dress like this. And just drill like that. Big out bankroll. It's about to be crap. Crazy, man. So what you, what you, what, what you was fucking with, Mo? Let's flip it to that. The new Atlanta or the old Atlanta? What you was fucking with, Mo? She was fucking with black. I can't say shit. I got money in all arrows. Mm. I'm just gonna keep it real, so I can't say what. So I'm a certain with. shit. I don't you... know what's new and old. Yeah, me neither. Yeah, like that's old kinda... is like. I don't want to say the nineties. It's the internet, and then it's the hustle area. What that you can you can break it up like that. But it's all the same. Well, we can say like the nineties the and, and then the past the nineties. You can look at it that way too. Cause shit changed after the nineties was over. It's my don't go chasing water. Like TLC nineties. That's the, that's the 90s. I was like eight. Out, outcast. Nine. But up to there. Diablos and up to Freak Nicks and up what to. What you were doing, Diablo? Came out. Listening, learning how to DJ, trying to figure out how to get some money. You was scared of that. My yeah. cousins was out there. I wasn't out there. I ain't gonna lie. I was a little too young to be out there. I was a little too young, but. Yeah, we saw Oom Camp come up and all that shit. Okay, That's, now all that shit is kind of like okay. 90s Atlanta. Yeah. Then like, oh, I got to, damn, it's hard to call Tip New Atlanta. That's tough. I feel what you said. But like Tip, Jeezy, and Forward, ain't, yeah. that, a, ain't that a new mm-hmm. era of Atlanta? Music. Like I'm talking about the, music. They kind of like on the fence. 
Because Tip has been around. Who before them? Like. Was well, it Pastor Troy and Kilo? Come on, man. Kilo. Kilo. Oh, Kilo. Kilo Ali. Like, that that, that well. shit was back. <laughs> That's what I said, 90s. <laughs> That's the 90s. Nah, but see, you can't. But see. Tripping. Okay, so let me ask so you. you that that like, you like you like so that wasn't Atlanta? This may be like controversial or whatever. You know some real music. I ain't gonna ask you no crazy shit like that. You know real music. I don't know. We listen to shit that was out, like you said, Diablo. Yeah. That that on the east side with this nigga. Because after Kilo had his little controversy, I don't think niggas like really listen to him. I'm talking about Kilo. I'm talking about Mr. Collar Park. I'm talking about Yen Yen Twins. I'm talking about Ryan. Wicked and Nino. I get on my feet. I get on my feet. Rapper though. Mm-hmm. Them different rappers, like. Yeah, it was different eras. When them niggas came, that's when niggas started getting money off music. The first time Tip, I heard. Nah, them niggas came in, that's when niggas started getting money. So, For this sure. shit started break, making the dope boys go mainstream. For made sure. Atlanta get look different, like. That's real. It was cool when Andre 3000, all them Lil niggas. Lil John made that money, too, cool. though. That was some different shit, but Lil Yeah, John but that one represent for what we feel like. Right, street. Them Atlanta. y'all niggas went out there with the, with the, you know, the G's, the Tips, the Gucci's, all that. All that shit changed it to where make a nigga feel like, long way feel like, I'm gonna try this shit. Mm. I'm gonna get in the booth. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Cause these yeah. niggas just like, you know what I'm saying? What's the New Atlanta now? New Atlanta, if you look into the blogs and shit and fuck Okay, the blogs. okay now. Okay. Is, is Jay going to the studio and make a hit right now? Is she gonna be New Atlanta? Ooh, that's a good question. Mm. She gonna be New Atlanta as far as music is concerned to the masses, cause she ain't never made no music. But to us, it is. He made music. He going to make a hit right now. He gonna be New Atlanta? That's a great point. That's a right great or wrong? Point. Mm-hmm. But he already had a hit. Nah, he 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 crank up again. But being Bang New up. Atlanta ain't nothing wrong with that. Cause little baby, no, the new no, Atlanta. Ain't nothing wrong with it at all. But he's a Atlanta the, nigga. If, yeah, but they, what's the new? He like, the new face. I guess okay, the new then, face. That's what it, yeah, yeah. Cause I don't want to be. I can't classify them boy. Nobody new and old and like. Cause I don't like. What you consider yourself then? As far as music, he can't oh, see. Okay. He the old and I can't. Come okay. on, come on. Cut it out. 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 Shit. Yes, yes. Come on right now in the club. We're going to have the old, That's some old, old, like you say, old in them. Yeah, throw it. It ain't new. If you ask, look, this, oh, this, you, this, you, this. You feel like you got, you feel like a young nigga got more uh, <laughs> newer swag than you or something like, like you feel like, I don't, I don't know what, how you saying, like, you saying old, like, what, what you saying, like. You know, you washed up, you don't know no, what's going no, on? No, no, no. What I'm saying is, I don't move into another <laughs> space, me, myself, personally. I definitely know that, but yeah, you, like, that don't mean that you out there you ain't rapper. tapped in. Oh, no, for sure. Tapped in. So you, mean, you, you ahead, you 30,000 steps ahead, you probably saying shit. This motherfucking song, right? They can go in there and say, this right here, this shit gonna go. Now, one of them niggas go in there and say it. Why'd you gonna be like, damn, but then, how many times you done did that? A lot. Yes. A lot. Thanks. <clears throat> that make you new or old? I feel like I'm over with in the rap shit. No, nah, that ain't no that, that definitely <laughs> dead on that. You saying because I'm saying you, I don't understand. I can't classify. I understand what you saying because them niggas, the new niggas, that like the up and coming, the rappers who, who got the, the flow right now, they going the fuck crazy. But I don't like they grind. Like they, you got to think about from when they started rapping, they might make them. Oh, they probably started rapping when we started rapping, probably. You know? Mm. Yeah. Like the, I see what you're saying, like. <clears throat> Two Chains was probably rapping during what we would consider the old Atlanta, but didn't become Two Chains till. And you see how far he got, like. Right. Me and him just came out of nowhere, just uh, 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 trying, trying when and found something. Then. Yeah. yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Mine is a nigga knowing how to rap. Yeah. That thing, think- that's like on hustler time though. Like you, we tried to shit on some hustle shit. That's why I feel like you and hey, put out I music. I didn't go in there and try to hustle. Now I went in there. Having fun. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. But like, I can do it because it's money involved. Oh, but you're you saying, just, but he's like, saying because he was already been it. He was already had a label. I ain't know a damn thing about that when I first started. You know what I'm saying? No, nah, but he's saying like, as far as you and Two Chains, like y'all are hustlers naturally born from the street. Mm-hmm. So instead of y'all looking at it like it's just okay, some music shit I'm finna try, y'all are looking at it as possibly another hustle. So let me apply the same tactics from the street shit to the music shit. Makes but it's sense. a lot of niggas that didn't come from the street right now. Yeah. And they Facts. lit up in their rap shit. Nah, yeah. Yeah. Facts. Yeah, nah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. That's what they do. Yeah. But then they can always try to run back to where we, where we come from the trying to. the culture side of it, though. They like the culture side of it. If a nigga don't do that, then it ain't going to be I ain't, If I ain't, if I wouldn't give a damn if I come from the, the uh, suburb or whatever the fuck you want to call it. 
and I make a hit song, some hit song. I ain't finna go back trying to sell no bag. Yeah, if you ain't never done it before, like, you got rapping. <laughs> what you say? Like fed it up. No, nah, but you but can't see, say that. We can't Wap say that. With that boy Wap, ain't fed it up. That's what I'm saying. I think Wap was before. He came in the game. He came in the game. I ain't fed it up before he started rapping. He came in the game. Ain't fed it up. But and you just—I I just, just want to know. Just sold out them number one hits, though. You don't put it. You don't put to be touching. <laughs> I ain't saying you put be. Now you right about that. You ain't no way in the hell. That's like insane. Yeah. yeah. But he, I'm gonna but, be in the but, proximity of this. But what he's saying is, like a nigga that ain't that ain't never done it before, go out and make a hit, and then go try to do that. Oh yeah, that's just all the way back. To, to, yeah. to, to, to verify yeah. themselves or make it seem like they. Oh, you saying baseless? Say that again. They trying to live up. That. to... So you go, you a scout. You you go get your football player right now. Boom, you turn him up. Boom, send him on to the league. You, you do all that shit. He gone on now. He go want to buy two, three thousand bowls, and he ain't never did this shit a damn hit like. What night? And that the other teammate said they rolling. He, you see what I'm saying? He don't know nothing about this. But I'm trying to figure he out green. how in the hell he gonna go from the millions to trying to go make the couple hundred thousand. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. They doing it. What you think they come from? Insecurity. Yeah, uh, uh, reading the just taking the wrong idea from what a nigga trying to paint. You know what I'm saying? You know we saying what we saying in the rap. You know niggas in saying all oh, this fly shit in the rap. They probably listening to shit, and you know it sounds cool, and they having paper, so you know you can do what you want to do. And they go re up, you know, you nigga probably the music's strong though. You know what I'm saying? Some of that shit come through music, some of that shit come from idols, you know, looking up to niggas in the street. Some of that shit, you know, I don't know. I just I can't say me get some million then try to do that. No. Nah. Yeah. Mm. Me neither. It's going backwards. Yeah, what you yeah. think make niggas do a scream? Like you think it make think the pressure of I'm, a nigga be able to say that he ain't never did none of that shit you saying? I think it's I think that's security. a big, big part of that. But some niggas just go broke. You damn have shit to prove. Exactly. That way, you just say what it is. You got something to prove. You just said it. Nah, but that shit, that's stupid, man. Hey, man, you give your partner some money, man, as a gift. Tell the man, don't tell you what it's for. I ain't got nothing to do with this. If I'm a rapper, my partner, I might know what you do. You want to borrow some money? Bro, don't talk to me, but tell me you finna go buy no pounds. I don't got nothing to do with that. <laughs> yeah. Right. Or no bricks or whatever. Just, right. I just, I just need some money for my friend here. Yeah. I might count whatever. I I don't know. I'm not supporting. I mean, I ain't got nothing to do with that. That nigga caught up. Yeah. How the conspiracies go? Hell yeah. yeah. Nigga ain't sold shit. But you the whole time you don't even know you done funded you some done shit. Funded nigga. the whole operation. Yeah. yeah. That shit be crazy, niggas. Man, a lot of niggas done went down like that. Like, the shit be fucked up. All this shit could be avoided by just being yourself. What you think? The key of staying out like all that bullshit? Cause you don't never be in bullshit like in the blogs or. What, what you think the key to that shit is? I know what he's going to say. Come on with it, Jay. <laughs> <laughs> Tell him for it. If you say whatever, I'm going to give you the right, um, what, I, what I think. Shit, you got to just stay at the spot and stay out in the <laughs> way. <laughs> yeah, stay out in the way. Ain't it like, great to have a spot and stay out the way though? That's yeah. the smartest thing. I, you know, I start playing Call of Duty. Like, that, that's my little, that's my little thing. You play it on the shit where the fans can see you play it. Nah, he be trying to get, get him in that shit. Man. What's the name of that shit? <laughs> Call of Duty. Oh yeah. 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 Hey, man, I got all this shit. I'm gonna get him into it. But they got shit now. You can play that shit and screen the music at the same time, though, right? That's what I'm trying to say. Stay at the spot. Stay out the way. Stack mm -hmm. it up. Stay focused. Stay you, you think you make a song like every day, or you fuck with the studio every day, almost every day? I ain't gonna say I make one every day, but when I do go, I can make one like a CD. Okay. Oh, you lock in what you're saying. Yeah, you think that you think that uh, that studio grind when you can do all the song come from being a little goo up? You got a race in that booth, but yeah, we'll get on those songs. <laughs> nigga, everybody be standing by the door to get on the one. <laughs> Soon that nigga walk out that one, nigga right in there. Nigga racing in that booth, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> some people don't like. Uh, some street artists don't like. I think even. Bank, you said that some street artists don't like performing. Do you like performing? Of course, we know you love the front end and back end. We know that. I right. ain't it, it, me putting that stuff on for them people. You okay, like you like that, that part. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> you see? I got you. Ah! Putting that shit on for them yes, folks. Yeah. <laughs> just as good as the picking up the back end. 
<laughs> just as good. I feel you. <laughs> I feel you. Oh my god. That's hilarious. <laughs> Pee Wee Longway is with us on the hundredth episode yes, of Big Facts. Yes. It's the classic. You putting that shit on for the What's culture? the most shit you do that people don't know you do? Like how you say you just start playing the game and shit. I be chewing gum and shit. <laughs> 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 that was deep, bro. Somebody gonna get in the comments and be like, "That was deep." <laughs> nah, but real though. That was real G shit. Nah, I be um, I, I I fuck with them dogs and shit like, the Frenches and shit, man. Spud. Oh, for mm. sure. Yeah. Shout out to shit face. <laughs> so what's some shit you just? What's what's on that list of shit you got to do as a long way? You know what I'm saying? You know you know you know you getting money. You want to get more money. You know what I'm saying? You successfully had a music career. I'm sure you got several businesses and shit like that. Have you that. done any investing, like crypto or, you know, like NFTs, any of that kind of shit? Mm-mm, I'm finna get them advanced from a man and and um the Bitcoin joint though. Okay. You said in oh, advance? Oh, from, um, mm-hmm. from Gazi. From Gazi. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you fit, you fit drop an album bank for a Bitcoin or 10 of them or 20 uh, of them? Nah, I, ain't, I can't. My nerve too bad to be in that booth. I can't even. That shit make me feel like I know this shit whack. Try and record it. I don't want to do it. I just yeah, feel PTSD. like that, bro. Now, ask, like, him, bro. ask him how many years ago that was when Gucci had um studio. That shit was in what? 2000. Ten, we look at that 10 years. That's 2010. Right? Almost, almost 10 years. Like oh, over 10 years, actually. Yeah. yeah. That it's was 11. 2011, 2012. It's 21. 20, 20, 20, 20, uh, about to be 22. 11. 11 years later, he's still saying the same. Who <laughs> banks saying the same shit? <laughs> <laughs> nah, you just said the real shit, though. <laughs> <laughs> and we be doing some hard ass shit, too. So, look, so I ask everybody this that like comes here or whatever, so, like. <laughs> If you had like a bucket list or a list of shit that you wanted to do like before you checked out of here or whatever, like what would be on your list? Like some food you, that you like want bucket to try. List? Yeah, like some place you want to go. Hold on, activity. say it again. Like a bucket list, like a list like, of shit that you want to do before you clock out permanently. Like it can be some food that you want to try, a place you want to go, an activity that you want to do, like anything. <laughs> like hey. Yes, sir. I ain't going I'm nowhere. going nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> I do know what you've been saying. I ain't going nowhere. I'm here. I'm stuck. I'm Elon Musk. Hold on right now. <laughs> Oh my god! Yeah, shit. I got to tell you, about to retire that one. Yeah. Don't nobody, yeah, ain't nobody going nowhere. Ain't nobody like, going. This is, this is Niggas locked in at you. I'm done. I'm done. And I, 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 I got a question, got a question <laughs> for my brother Pee Wee. Hopefully he he okay. If Pee Wee Longway had a podcast, what would you be talking about on the podcast? How would your setup be? All that shit. Paint that picture for us. You can at least like, do that for us. For sure. We got the bud here. Okay, cool. But for sure, what else? And what else would you what, what would you be talking about on your podcast, the Long Way Podcast? How to graduate school? How to graduate? Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's, it's the school. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The Let school it. or school? The school. The if school. You know, you know. Got you. If you know, yeah. you know. How to graduate? Straight up. All right. Which basically your podcast yeah, would be about getting money. <laughs> <laughs> get, get, <laughs> it would be about getting money. Is what you said. <sighs> I mean, you know, everybody go to school you're like a doctor, lawyer, something to get some money to film, so teach mm. that shit. How you gonna teach that? You ain't never did that, bro. I read up on it every night. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but it's already in the making. Stay tuned. Long way teaching the school. <laughs> get shot, man. <laughs> the long, the Where long, that daddy on at? The long way class. Oh, okay. People always here. Big Facts 100 episode. Bank, Jade, Scream, Long Way. You know what I'm saying? We, we got sprinkles here. in this motherfucker. Sprinkles, Deleon. Hey, when, so like, when was the time that you knew, like, I know a nigga gonna say, I knew from when I started, but like, when you knew, like, oh, these folk fuck with Pee Wee Game on their music shit. I really didn't. You know what? When I made the Jane Bun, that shit did six million views when Goo Out dropped that time. Yeah. And my shit did six million um, views that time. Nobody know who the hell I was in the song called Jane Bun. I disagree. I disagree. I think, well, for me, As I realized, no. Yeah, for me, I realized 
that like he was going up on some other shit like on the rap shit when everybody was running around the lobby. Everybody was running around the everybody and their fucking lobby. mama was Facts. running around the lobby. That was it. Like real nigga shit. Like, like that nigga had to start this nigga back is the different shit. type yeah. shit. What about some of the shit that niggas don't know? Like that shit come from a long way. It's in this game right now. Everything. Everything. Real Nig- shit. Uh, Everything. Let him say it. What it is. What it is. Long way. Like, <laughs> I'm gonna let him say it, but I'm just saying everything. Shit, like, 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 what you mean? Like, what I'm you saying mean? like, like, just say Vincent, like, some shit that may have been. I'm sorry. In this game, like, shit that you brought to the culture that people don't know. That's some long way shit that we know in the streets, like Atlanta know. Like, he's not gonna say it. Like, it's a lot of shit. I like, I've, I've seen. Y'all so niggas doing before y'all was rappers that niggas do on the rap scene. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? But so, people don't know like, oh he t- he talking he, like long way. Okay, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Whole lot of whole lot of flavor, like yeah, a whole lot of yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. The entire swag, yeah. like yeah, like they hold that down. It came from long way, right? Yeah, yeah. All hold that, that, shit, hold yeah, that down. I just taught them how to get high. Shit, like you said, all you that what? Shit. Taught them how to get high. You taught them how to get high. That's it. The original like, stoner, like, like yeah. taught him how to get high. The original you know, it's, trapper, it's like you got to think like, about it's on the you know so like bit. stoners out there that going that came in with that stoner music, future and all them boys just, uh, just that music on our stoner level. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, I mean, it's a lot of folk like they kick. They just like you know what I mean. I like the way they kick. They like the way I kick type shit. You know? Yeah, for sure. What's up, dog? But a lot of this shit was a lot <laughs> of this shit was like, boring from him. Like, Straight up, like, wait, I tell me, Jay, because I'm, I'm, I, you know, I'm like, really, I've been on the I've like, like, like for niggas, like I'm not, I'm not saying like I'm original shit trapper shit, shit. Like he was the first nigga that ever trapped or no shit like that. But as far as like how y'all talking about the quote unquote new Atlanta or whatever, mm. he was like. <clears throat> I don't want to say too much, but he was he was the first nigga to. Like really make that shit cool and seen for the new generation. Like you got the trap era with like the Gucci's and the tips and all them niggas or whatever, and that's cool. But what I'm saying is for like, like for the new the new kids on the block, the new trap kids on the block or whatever. Like most of that shit was born from him. Like like the bankrolls, the the you know like the sur- you know like how you work. You know what I'm saying like. All kind of shit. I don't really want to go too far into it, but it's like a lot of that shit, most of that shit flavor. came from him. It sounds like yeah, flavor, like, lingo, lingo, flavor. Give a, nigga, give, a, give, a, give an example of a nigga who you saw popping and you were like, now that's how you pop it. Coming up as a young nigga. Before you start to be long way. You get what I'm saying? Well, that's a lot of nigga, man. White boy Marco. For sure. Free white boy. You just said... They give you like this is city shit for y'all that don't understand mm-hmm. that's out there looking. Yeah, you feel like they gave you the inspiration to be like, yeah, big, big, my brother. You know what I'm saying? First of all, my fault. Yeah, they he was doing his shit. You know what I'm saying? You know, niggas in the hood, around the hood, but like you, like you were saying, like popping it for me. I get the Marco. Facts. Sure. Free that boy Marco, man. They gonna be watching this one in the chain gang anyway. I know that. <laughs> <laughs> What's some yeah. shit you took? <clears throat> what's some shit you took from the streets <clears throat> to this game with you, to this rap game, and to you know when you got legit? What's some shit you took that you hold with you like? Oh, that whole format, that whole format had to come on over, and roll over. What's some shit you left? The shit that put the <laughs> it's still there. It's still there. It's still there. Good idea, bro. Dang, hold on. I'm like, fuck this shit. Real shit. That's a good answer, bro. That shit mean a lot of. A lot. It mean a lot. See, he know how to make them shout answers. Yeah. But it mean a it mean whole everything. lot. Yeah. You hard, my brother. Straight to the point. It's what we doing no long way? What you want to talk about? I want to kick with you one time. You been partying, you know what I'm saying? I like what you got going on. Y'all three, y'all a nice trio. You feel me? Oh. That love. I see what, you don't care nothing about rap though no more. I see what, let me hear about you, man. Tell me what's going on in your world. Man. I don't long know. Long way podcast, here we go. 
Yeah. I don't even know. <laughs> Let's get it. Oh, yeah, this is the 100th anyway. This is the 100th. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we need to let this nigga to interview us. That's the only way he going to talk. Let's go. Come yeah. on. He talking to you, though. Oh, what you say? What made you want to do that, my nigga? Scream. You know I'm into I quit already? You ain't never quit? Y'all don't know I quit. <laughs> <laughs> what you quit? The podcast. I'm talking about the podcast. I can see you in there showing that, man. Not showing that, <laughs> just calling like, you know what, bro? Ah, fuck this shit. I ain't doing this shit. <laughs> it's just, I don't know, bro. Shit crazy. You think, think you had your stage or what? For sure. This shit became therapy, though. And you get to get this shit out that you be thinking. Yeah. A lot of that shit be on your brain got now. Loosening screws. What's up with hit black like that day? Like to say, fuck that shit. I'm going back to the podcast. <clears throat> uh, when we did the future shit? That's when I knew I could do it. Yeah. When I did, I, in the future call me, he said he about to drop an album. He want me to interview him, ask him any, anything I want to ask him. Well, let's, to go to New York basically, let's talk about the shit we talk about. Oh, yeah, don't ask you that. I'm going to go back to that question. Yeah, I, mean, I know myself personally <coughs> that you originator of a lot of shit. And I'm not saying uh, no specific shit, person took shit from you. Because mm -hmm. I see a lot of your shit sprinkled around in this game. I'm being 100, just off of me knowing you. Mm-hmm. Name one thing that you feel like. That's that long way shit. Man. Mm -mm 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 oh, man. Oh, man. The double entendres. The flow. The flow. You got you. Yeah. Yeah. Even all the little lingo, like. Not it's little lingo, up, but it's you know, like that, that say they looked up to a nigga and just like fuck up, fuck. You know, it be surprising to me though because you know, I'm still having fun in the booth. It ain't, it ain't. I'm like y'all little nigga, real deal hard rapper. How the hell you think? What the hell you talking about? You look up to me and what I'm doing? Yeah, how about because of this shit? When when you give something to a person, you don't know what you're giving them. Like yeah, when you give something to the world, you don't know what you're giving it because you it's coming from you. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So you give them some shit that niggas looking at that shit is special, like. Boy, you playing with that. That's it. All right. You it. You get what I'm saying? So a nigga take that shit and emulate it and put it with their own way. But you can see yourself like you wasn't just doing that before you met me. Mm. Right. And it don't be like, niggas should be flattered when you see that. Mm. But I know a nigga ain't going to be on no, boy, I don't know. I know you ain't even that kind of nigga to be on no, I did this, I did this ass shit. I'm just trying to like, see, do you know? He doesn't. I definitely do. He doesn't. He doesn't understand the magnitude because, like, even am I tripping? No. Not like even like even when even like when he was transitioning into okay, I'm really finna be a rapper and do this rap shit because I put so much money into these niggas and you know shit happens, life happens, all kind of shit goes wrong, and it. I'm gonna invest in myself, fuck this shit, and try it out and see how it goes. Like even when he was starting to do that. He didn't realize how big of an impact and how big of an influence he actually was all the way back then. So it's like now that he's done all of this major fantastic growth, he's grown into this big, huge artist and this 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 person that people have come to love because of his personality and all that kind of shit. I, I still personally feel like he underestimates his power when it comes to the influence that he has over other people and other artists and shit like that. Just me personally. See, there how I went. <laughs> <laughs> Pick up the story. Scooter know me, but Wop know me too, but Scooter having show, he cracking at the time. He hear that um, Slack got a um, Thug got a song that the whole club go crazy over mm -hmm. before he performed. So Wap called me and I take him there. Just, just like that. That's it? And that that where the journey went. But it ain't gonna say that's it because it was just like a whole lot of shit way before that. You know what I'm saying? We all did like studio. Like. So you saying Street got now told Wap? Throw it going crazy. It's a song that him, him, Duke, and Wicked got going crazy. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, that got there. Who's on top? Uh, who's on top? Yeah, I was a video shoot, yeah. yeah. So he heard it. He, who's on yeah, top? He like, got there. <laughs> <laughs> little match. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Cascade. <laughs> and at the time, 
Thug, Duke, and Wicked, they would sign to you. They want never sign to me. Y'all just brothers. Know, yeah. Y'all just brothers, yeah, basically. Yeah, that's just like if, if. I get what you're saying. Yeah. But he was behind Duke and Wicked. Yeah. Not yeah. signed to you, but like, okay. Whatever they told me to do, I did. And Scooter, Slime, I mean, um. Street. Uh, Walt reached out to Pee Wee. To my, I want to sign you. <laughs> yeah, what he did, he said, wait. <laughs> I said, what the fuck you mean you want to sign me, my nigga? He said, I, want, I, want, I just want to sign you. I, want to sign, I don't want to sign him unless I sign you. I said, bro, you can't. I, I don't, I, what the hell are you going to do with me? <laughs> yeah, that's what he said. You, you see what I'm saying? But he, he talking about off the mean. He talking about just off the street. He talking about just how I kick it in my, you know what I mean? Yeah. He was like, shit, how I'm going to pop some flavors? So he was like, shit, off that, he knew it was going to lead to something. You know what I'm saying? I get back then, I, all the way back then. Facts. And look where we at now. He know that shit though. Yeah, look mm-hmm. where we at now. My boy just how he know them nigga. He was telling me when you been straight, that nigga Pee Wee hard. He just playing that nigga hard though. And y'all niggas start being in the booth every day like, oh, he's serious. <laughs> this shit come by later. You got things like it's fun, the motherfucker. It's like it just, it just become fun, 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 fun. I don't even know how to go in there and come, go in there and make a hit and get frustrated like you go to my. My song with it, dude. I used to be playing my shit and everything, bro. He read my shit on the computer for them niggas to come. I don't even want niggas to hear my shit, bro. <laughs> just because I just, that wasn't my, never my passion on music shit. Like, I like music, but me being the nigga, I, yeah, I just ain't never want that. You, had, don't, you, you kicked the door down with a big ass song, though. Yeah, but I, I, I made my sacrifice to push. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I know what you doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I kept it going. Like you said, nigga, we ain't going to stop. Both of them niggas got locked up the same day. I made a song. This shit kept the shit alive. AB come home, get signed. Mm-hmm. Throw it up. We ready. We lit. Now, okay, I can step back. Because he can really rap. Like, I just feel like I'm lucky. <laughs> but Pee Wee did the same shit, though. Pee Wee did the same shit. He took the sacrifice to keep the shit going, and the shit took off. He was playing at first, but then when, like, he really like got into it, into it. The shit went all the way up, and if it ain't you, come down. If you was to sign an artist right now, what kind of artist would you sign? Like, who you looking for? What you looking for? Juwa. What that is? Little his Ju-Wop. artist. Oh, oh, you already got that an artist. Hard, yeah. What his name? Juwa. Mm-hmm. Where you from? He from Columbia, Georgia. Okay, hard. Thank God, you see him on your page. Yeah, that nigga going crazy. Where you up here now? Mm-mm. He down there. That that that. You <laughs> wanted them young niggas. Well, okay. <laughs> Bring it to the shit show. Let's see what you all got going on. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't got to do to get up there and rock with him. You know that. I ain't going to I'm going to let him get up there and rock himself. You're going to see what's going on. Watch what happens. I'll fuck with it if you fuck with it. I know what's going on. Yeah. Somebody used to salute you a lot, man. I think he one of the first names, if not the first name he'll mention when you talk to him was Nipsey. What, what was your relationship like with Nipsey? Nipsey I'll always be like, Pee Wee, you know Pee Wee? Like, you say you're from Atlanta, he gonna ask you about Pee Wee. Before, before rapping and shit, for all Everything, that. like. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, you know, I knew them boys before that, and I just laid down, you know, the platform. They did this, you know what I'm saying? Laid down the platform for me out there. I did the platform for them out here. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for sure, for sure, for sure. How how big was was effect that shit was on you like when that shit happened? Like too crazy because I knew both of them, and I knew what could have happened. Oh, for real? Mm-hmm. So all that goddamn conspiracy theories, goddamn. What I said, the, the government, government killed, killed Nipsey. Nipsey. Right? It's he kept. was powerful. That cap though. It's cap. Mm-hmm. You know I don't want to get into that. But I know that we're not gonna get into it. Facts are cap. Big cow. Mm-hmm. He was powerful though. He 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 was headed to that. You know what I'm saying? It's just crazy how them you know platinum shit. These niggas start going platinum and shit, and they gone. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So he got right though. Oh my prayer, my prayer to God, man is man. Hey man, if the next level is something that I gotta lose, something that I don't want to lose, keep it. I'm good at being banked right here. Mm-hmm. No cap. Right. If I gotta go to another level to goddamn. Started losing the wrong shit. I ain't willing to sacrifice that. You know what I'm saying? I'm good with being this nigga. That's real. You know I've been working my ass off of that. You ain't putting it out though, bro. So this one finna explain to you right now. It's time is music, so I'm I'm finna like 
roll it all out. I got it all packaged up. Probably got so many CD packs. That's what I got Shauna like. I got my Shauna ripping and running. No, I'm saying just, just, just going yeah, through shit. Sure. Me, you know what I mean? Huh, swag that, but I'm finna roll it out. I got so much music that I don't even really like to rap no more because it's so easy to do. I feel like I want to just roll out all this what I've been posting on holding Instagram, on playing mm-hmm. and holding on to because I, I, I know they need to hit. You know what I'm saying? Yep. And, it, and I see what people are doing. Like, it, it really ain't nothing for me to put out music to them to say that. And I'm dead ass wrong. You see what I'm saying? I'm really taking <laughs> shit for granted. You know what I'm saying? Like, be honest. That's why I asked earlier, like, is it because. No, nah, I, I can on sprinkle the, this shit. I, you know that sprinkle can't take him all of us right here though. D. This is selected too. D. Mm. D. Pee wee long way. Big facts. We kicking it. Hundred episode. It's feel yeah. like big facts, man. We got this shit going on today. Feel like this. Yeah. Feel, yes. Yes. Long way. <laughs> you gotta come back, bro. Make this your home, bro. We need a co-host, bro. A nigga just sit over here and just say. Yeah. I need a laugh. I need a laugh. Yeah, like. <laughs> Adley, bro. They got they got they got memes on this nigga up. Just doing like that like. Let nigga ask a question. And then she got millions of views. Like, bro, you <laughs> fried, bro. Like, you think you brought that to the game? Like, nigga just being fried up. Like, bro, bro. He fried, but he smart. You get what I'm saying? Like, he a well, but he tricking y'all. See, I know what one you want. Yeah. You know what you want. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I know what you want. Who you think you got there? <laughs> 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 like, come on, yes. bro. Oh, Niggas do that before they pull us over. I'm retarded. <laughs> <laughs> By the time you get through knowing and I'm retarded, you have a nice day, son. You off your meds. <laughs> 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 but you know a lot of rappers do that now. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? <laughs> like I'm just out my mind, but really, bro, I don't want to have that shit to my bank. Bro, you trying to get me to say some bullshit? I ain't doing that. But yeah, <laughs> where you came like, from, bank? Yo, nigga, real man. They just protect Nate in the jam. That was it. Okay, I go with that. <laughs> but niggas want to hear it though. I know it. That's why that shit big fat. You right, too, black. Niggas want to hear what you got to say because it's like when a nigga get on the road, get on the space as a teacher, you can't stop. Mm. Can't stop getting it to him indirectly. You ain't trying to. Niggas just being you is make is helping somebody. Mm-hmm. I'm saying like, oh, that's the way to goddamn avoid these bullshit ass questions. That's the way. But I'm just fried up. I don't know what y'all folks talking about. <laughs> but when you fried up, you don't even be trying to do it. You just really just kick facts. But you notice it. Like, this one working. This the one. This the one. I got to go up and notch on the one. So I got to roll a little bat up again get this shit right. Uh, <laughs> what do we do, man? Uh, that's, so, is that some real Atlanta shit? Because nigga do that even in the hood. Like, mm. I'm retarded. I don't know what you're talking about, but, but what that money ain't right. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that shit all the way out to the yeah, end. Bro. Hell yeah. Look at that one more time. Ain't <laughs> hey, that retarded. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Nobody play right Nigga, don't know nobody. That but the paperwork. Right. <laughs> right. Oh boy, yikes in the bike. Nigga, get precise when that money come out. Huh? <laughs> 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 you get real precise when that money come out. <laughs> Nigga, talking like a motherfucker. Wait, that shit. What's your favorite thing to cook when you're in the kitchen? Because you know, a lot of people don't know, like, you really be chefing that shit up on the low. But if you had to pick, like, your favorite dish, like, what would it be? You know, I can't lie, Jade. I, I, I make, I just, just, I, a burger, Jade. <laughs> I think we're say that. Burger, burger Jay. <laughs> you know I can't lie. I swear I'm a fool with that bitch too. Are oh, you a fool with a burger? I, I just, <laughs> what's the recipe? Yeah, the nigga got some shit going on. What's with the recipe the burger, on the burger? Right? Mm. <laughs> yeah, the nigga nachos. 
Oh, yeah. you ain't gonna put you ain't gonna put the uh, the recipe out there for the burger. That long way burger with the recipe. See this out. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of it. Oh, enough, enough of it. Yeah, how much of it, bro? Enough of it. <laughs> salt bait. Yeah, salt bait that motherfucker. I'm salt bait that motherfucker. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my god. Would you put mayo, mustard, ketchup? Would you put all this? Just straight seasoning. Spinach and um, <laughs> organic mayo. It did get it get it get extra five. Put a cucumber. Not a cucumber. <laughs> a cucumber. <laughs> this cucumber. It's like a pickle. <laughs> It's a better pickle. <laughs> Cucumber. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. My man. nigga a long way in this bitch. Yeah, a man. Pioneer. Today is a good day. Like Young real, pioneer bro. in this like, game, man. Yeah, Y'all made it to a hundred show, man. That's 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 powerful. Yeah, yeah, bro. Nah, but what's even more powerful is that you here because we've been trying to get your ass since episode one. I ain't, I ain't so, so I call no him like, yeah, black. Like, he doing the same shit. Like, I don't call like, nobody as much as we call on Spud. Oh, she done rolled off on Spud. Yeah, black. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he <laughs> tomorrow. He yeah, right. <laughs> we on the way. <laughs> I ain't having no, I, ain't, I really want to come in here and promote something. Fuck spread. that. We just chopping it. This is what you got to know about your we fans. We This is what you got to know about your fans, too. They love you. They want the music. But they love you. So if you I go do one hundred though, if I was a podcast, I wouldn't be up here hollering at y'all. <laughs> if I would, like I'm just saying, like because I'm a person who too. You, like listen, if I got something, to, I, ain't, I gotta. You, you ain't do a lot of radio interviews, about. but if I hit you, you'll pull up to talk to me. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Facts. So he know he in good hands talking to us. Yeah, because this this something right here that I will come talk to. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You yeah. Need to pop up on our game, not just on no new shit where we talk about the weather. I just want to come watch y'all interview somebody, man. That's that's it. Fun. What made you stop um, DJing? Screen? I still DJ. I I will DJ. He talking like me tapes and shit like that, right? Yeah, mm-hmm. man. It just ain't the same. Plus, you know, Keem come from the family, so it's like the young boys is doing what they do now, and like you said, we are podcasters. You know what I mean? So I'm up this podcast. We okay, embracing Jay? shit. What made you stop selling JD cakes? Congratulations. <laughs> You know, I'm on TV. <laughs> <laughs> Certain shit I can't do no more. You know what I mean? Like, I'm just like, <laughs> no, but real shit though. No, like, I don't be having, I don't be having a time that I used to have. Like, my schedule is like, man, bro, you don't even understand. Like, my schedule is crazy. So like, I be trying to get them in when I can, but it's like, if I make ten of them. It's 60 other people that I was supposed to have made them for. So, like, I can't, you know what I'm saying? I be feeling, like, really, like, terrible, terrible and bad because I made it for them t- these 10 people, but these other 60 people that have been waiting a year and a half, I wasn't able to make their shit. Like, so it's like, man, that shit be fucked up. But you do I'm, make a motherfucker wait a year and a half. Or <laughs> That's a hell of no, a way. No, but I'm, I'm coming back for, I'm coming back for, like, the holidays and shit. I'm going a, I'm to a do a little run, and then I'm so going to get up out of there. So tell the world about the Jada tapes, like, like. What what you like? What you? What kind so, of the JD tapes came about. Um, shout out to my brothers DJ Plug and Chaos. Like they, you know, they always used to say like, I need to like, I need to rap or I need to do a mixtape or I need to do this, 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 whatever, whatever. But then when I got into like the whole playlisting shit, like being able to make my own like list of songs, like I kind of started realizing like, damn, this is just like if I. Like, just put a collection of my favorite shit and, like, put it out. You know what I'm saying? Type shit. So, it's, like, it's always, like, so many people that are trying to get me to, like, listen to them or, you know, try to do this or do that or whatever, whatever. And I don't always have time to, you know, listen to everybody's shit. But I just figured, like, me doing a mixtape could give people a chance to get my stamp without taking up all of my time. So like if I mix y'all shit in on some like already popping shit that I really like or that I listen to all the time and just like, you know, put it out there like I'm kind of endorsing it because I fuck with it, then that's the same as you like sitting down talking to me. Well, it's not really the same, but it's 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 Step. like yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. The same type of shit. So that's where that came from. So we're um we're getting everything together now, and it's probably gonna be, it's definitely gonna be out before Christmas, but it's probably gonna be like the second or third week 
in December and I'm just like fucking with all of the up and coming people that I think sound good. You know what I'm saying? If I don't if I don't really care for the music, I'm not gonna like down it or no shit like that, but it ain't going on my tape. So you ain't gonna put no um major artists on them? Yeah, well, I, was yeah, say, I yeah. thought you were doing it like Yeah, it's gonna be like know. it's gonna be like ten of my favorite songs from like my friends and the people that are already established and then I'm going to have eight slots for, like, independent people and, like, mix that shit in because I don't want to do a whole mixtape full of, like, niggas that don't nobody know because then that's, like, defeating the purpose. Ain't nobody really going to listen to that shit. Right. But if it's some shit that, like, songs that niggas fuck with already and, like... You know, you probably be flexing your muscle on the Jada Taylor. Facts. Right. Yeah. I think you should do... Me, personally, I think you, you think? should do one, do 12 songs. Well, 10 songs. Seven of your friends and three lucky people. No, no, no. Shit gotta be the, worse but see, the thing is, yeah, it's going to be that. But when it comes to, like, I'm going to wait until probably, like, maybe the second or third one, maybe the third one, to, like, flex the muscle, like you said, when it starts oh, coming in. Come you got to come on back. You got to come on back. You got to come on What you waiting on? Get them song from these niggas. Bro, going to give you one. You know you going to get one from bro. So put the exclusives on the first one? Yes. You got to flex okay. your muscle. You so the next thing you drop, niggas be willing. Niggas, niggas, niggas got budgets. Say less. Niggas willing to pay a hundred thousand to get on a J mid tape. Say less. They gonna get yeah. their publishing their money back. You know what I mean? It is what it is. This shit bending now. That boy yikes to move over to the side. <laughs> <laughs> Not for real. We gonna we gonna we gonna chop it up. We gonna chop it up because I y'all can be the A and R. Fuck it. <laughs> of the project. It's a budget a for that I too. Got, I got two songs in my phone from Big Boy that I had got for this. Mm. <laughs> I got some like. Let's get it, dog. Hey, appreciate that twin. Hey, uh, Pee Wee, goddamn. What you think is the best experience you got like out of this music shit? Like that you wanna got like if you just stay doing some other shit. Like damn, but I'm glad I was a rapper. I mean, I'm glad I got the music shit. I got to do this. I'm glad Goo I told her to pull up. No, nah, I'm saying like after after it happened. And then you start like, like traveling or whatever, just whatever. Oh yeah, I, I explored the world. I, I just seen a whole lot of shit that I know wasn't gonna happen. You know what I mean, like making that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So like, damn, this shit, this rap pay shit. Pay Uncle Sam. I ain't never know what I had to pay Uncle Sam. Yes, sir. Yeah, Uncle Sam ain't no hoe. If you can get one thing to a young nigga, to the young Pee Wee Long Way, what you tell yourself? Oh, what I tell myself, my the young Long Way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Follow your daddy footprints, man. <laughs> but for real, some real G shit though. Um, probably just don't don't do what I did. Just like in certain certain in certain fields, like. But you know, everybody got their own mind, black man. Because no, I'm saying you telling yourself this, like you know how everything went for you right now. Like what you know now, going if you had a time machine to go back, I just drop out of music. I just dropped yeah. the music. I ain't. I just dropped the music. I ain't did anything else wrong, but not dropped. I'm saying as a kid, not the rap oh, as a shit. kid. Just as a kid, like to tell yourself, like if you could give yourself some advice as a kid, jumping out the porch to know what to expect. I wouldn't even be. It, it'd be a lot of things I wouldn't even be with. Like it wouldn't even. Like I, I can't even. Oh, I, shit. It'd Basically, be a lot of like just, be, just just don't trust some people and shit. Hell yeah, I can't even. It wouldn't be like my eyes be open to a lot of shit. But I really, I really, I like the pair that, that I had to it because I kind of learned. The Arab, yeah. I, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. The right way. Yeah, you're you know saying, saying? like, you, you basically, no regrets. I'm glad I went through everything to get here. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I feel like that would have like, the proper route to take. Because a lot of niggas just jumping in our lane and they crashing. And I'm like, shit, he ain't know that buddy did that before a long time ago. Mm -hmm. And shit, I know not to do it. Correct. Okay. We appreciate you pulling up on our game. Appreciate man. you, gang. It's a hunter. <laughs> it's shit a hunter. You it's know a hunter, man. Love. Y'all see what's going on. It's going down. Big Facts Podcast, 100 episodes. First of all, man, major congratulations on all your success and accomplishments. You dig what I'm saying? Like the way that y'all paving the, the motherfucking wave in Atlanta. You dig what I'm saying? But, you know, it's going down for the 100 episodes. I got a roast shit. Starting with you. Now, Big Bank, I done seen a lot of big niggas in my life. But I'm just saying, I think you were shaped like two out of shape baby mamas. I'm just saying. Have y'all ever listened to Big Fat Podcast and every time the motherfucker come on, Big Bank, he at least breathe about 46 times per question. <laughs>
<laughs> Big Bang, if you need an inhaler for your goddamn throat, just say that. But y'all know what I really think his breath stink. Studies show that any hood nigga with a top grill and a bottom grill breath stink. Now you know, baby Jade, I love you to death. You my baby, you my boo. Yeah, my mama always told me if I don't have nothing nice to say, don't say it at all. But I gotta say this shit anyway. You know, Baby J, after doing proper research, I really think you was shaped like a goddamn air fry. I really think you is. I'm just saying, because I seen the air fry and I seen your bottom like, you know what? Baby J is really shaped like one big titty with no nipple. That's all I need. <laughs> DJ Scream. You know what? The way that your face is set up, you really look like the bottom of a goddamn worker boot. <laughs> Smash face to ass boy DJ screen I don't know but Why is it that Every time somebody Look at your face You look sleepy Look like you got Full time Epsilon lips But part time Down syndrome But in the meantime Man look Once again Congratulations on the 100 episode You dig what I'm saying Celebrity comedian Raheem Hope Check it out What's up y'all This your girl Comedian Erica Duchess And I just wanna say Oh baby J Dude what the fuck Going on This the reason why a Bitch can't get you To make her no more Cupcakes no more But it's all good I said My girl J Been over there Doing her thing With guys Damn face on love. And somebody <laughs> said, that ain't no goddamn face on love. That big bank black. I said, big bank black from the east side. Mr. Try it out, try it out. God damn, man. That's even better, man. I'm so proud of y'all, man. Keep doing your thing. Again, congratulations on your 100th episode. And I'm praying that y'all have 100 and million more. Peace out. Shut up, huh? Say, yo. <laughs> hey, it's your boy Cheating Ass Myra, man. Shout out to Big Facts Podcast, man. Big Bank, Baby J, DJ Scream on their 100th episode. Man, keep doing y'all thing. I moved to Atlanta two years ago, man. I got put on y'all niggas ASAP, man. Keep doing y'all thing, man. But you know what time it is. If Shrek was a dyke face ass nigga, your face look like a bowling ball with no holes in that monkey. You mid-range senior citizen face ass nigga. This nigga face right here smooth as fuck with that wrinkled ass forehead. Nigga, you look like you 60, 17 years old. Tough love to ghetto lesbian face ass nigga. This nigga look like the last piece of Whopper candy in the bottom of the box. Urban Muppet baby face ass nigga. Whoopi Winfrey looking ass nigga. Unwrapped mummy face ass nigga. You look like Squidward from Spongebob. Boy, your ass got a tank on your face. You look like you rock niggas with no sniffs put your goddamn hands up put them up <laughs> baby jade i love you but on this picture you're looking like one of the guys baby jade look like an aggressive sloth baby jade look like the gremlin when it get wet Baby Jade, you look like you fight pit bulls in a trap house in a bathtub. Baby Jade look like bathtub. every last nigga you gotta beat on the video game to win the game. King Cooper face ass. <laughs> Baby Jade, your teeth little as hell. You got a mouth full of bottom teeth. You got a mouth full of blank dice. You can't eat nothing but crushed chips and drink insurance. Every high school had one cool ass female security guard that looked like Baby Jade. <laughs> Who the hell, yeah, bro? Yeah, he's funny. Oh, that's Myra. That's my boy, Myra. Hi, Myra. Yo, what's up? You know who it is? DJ Scream. DJ Scream, sir. Why the fuck you talk so loud? I tried to watch a video of you with my headphones in, and you almost bust a bitch eardrums. I said, God damn, is that why they call his ass DJ Scream? This motherfucker yelling on accident. Is that your inside voice? Nigga, you need to work on that. But congratulations on your 100th episode. When he looks at me, and I look at him. Hey, fat. Yep. They said we had to fight him up on the podcast. That's an ugly ass podcast. <laughs> big bang! We had like big stank. Oh, well, like a dirty ass thumb. <laughs> ugly like ass. Uh, gorilla thumb. <laughs> yeah, like Pee Wee Long Way. Nah, Pee Wee Stank Way. Pee Wee Milk Way. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, who cheated, nigga? You a J. <laughs> that boy had like a pothole that's sitting on old neck. <laughs> <laughs> Why you got them doll ass goals in your mouth? What if ain't no gold with them earwax? <laughs> <laughs> Jay! Well, I know them niggas love you for your head. <laughs> hey, kindergarten went straight to head start. <laughs> like a dirty ass son. <laughs> With bumps on it. <laughs> I like, like, like an elbow. Hey, bro, hand me that. With braids on it, uh, yeah. stop it. With braids on it, uh, yeah. <laughs> scream! <laughs> I be screaming at them. He be like, "Damn, y'all be quiet on that mic." Okay. Uh, uh, hey, y'all keep it down. Uh, oh, that was, uh, okay. That Jay talking. Okay. And that bang, bang, bang. Oh, yeah. Hey, scream! I, be, I bet you can't do this. The <laughs> gap, <laughs> uh, that way, missing a lot of teeth in, in the, the middle. middle. <laughs> <laughs> I know I got some good gap to share. That boy is a mascot at Gap. Hey, I give you twelve. You take your hat off for the whole show. Look at that. Oh, we want to see what's under there. Yeah, yeah none. Just like the, just like the <laughs> yeah. Gap. <laughs> 
I ain't gonna lie, you gotta pull in the mummy gap. <laughs> keep going, keep doing your thing. Walk on his teeth. <laughs> DJ Scream, I gotta get your ass first And she seem like you the most level-headed nigga on the podcast Nice ass nigga Boy, your ass look like Ray Allen on the perp 30 Boy, your ass look like Lamar Odom If he would've just said no to drug Nice ass nigga Boy, I know your ass got down Used to be a part of an animal rescue team, boy Yo ass used to be the nigga in the apartment Feeding all them stray cats and shit, boy I know your ass used to be breeding kids and shit, boy Nice ass nigga Jane, I gotta get your ass too, shout out. Yo ass look like Rita on Friday when she pulled up on Smokey and pulled her hat out with the motherfucking braid, shout out. Yo ass look like the nicest gangster ever. You like you look like you used to be beating bitches up and crying at the same time. I already know what's going on with the shout. Big bank, I got to get your ass, boy. Yo ass look like you in the Guinness Book of Real Records. Or the youngest nigga with gold teeth, boy. You had them motherfucking gold in your mouth since you were two months, boy. I already see what's going on with you, boy. You the nigga in the city that invented robbing the pizza man. I already know what's going on with you, big dog. I don't understand how the hell you could be bald head on Monday, then next Monday your ass got a temp fade, boy. What the hell you is a gangsta ass chill pet, boy? First thing I seen, Jeff, you had to grow a bald head, boy. Teach me the motherfucking recipe, boy. What the hell is going on with you, big dog? Hey, y'all fuck with me, big bro. Hey, bro. Say, bro. B dot in this thing representing North Carolina, and yes, we definitely rocks with that Big Facts podcast in North Carolina. What the fuck is you talking about? Baby J, Big Bank, DJ Scream for shit show. We ride with y'all, and what I like the most about y'all is nobody try to outdo nobody else, right? Like y'all on the same level of unattractiveness. You know what I'm saying? Like we just gonna hone this ugly pocket. Like this gonna be us right here. Like DJ Scream. Like DJ Screen Face put together with aftermarket parts, ain't it? Like I think DJ Screen Face is still downloading right the fuck now. DJ Screen look like an inner city seahorse a little bit. <laughs> and then Bit Bank. Everybody know Bit Bank take little bank, but Bit Bank need to take a toothbrush to that bottom row. Cause that thing a little dingy down there. I don't know if Bit Bank got grills or Bit Bank just ain't brushed his teeth in a very, 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 very long time. Big Bang, Big Bang got Gucci Mane old body, ain't it? Like Big Bang, it built like a leather balloon, I think. But the star, it Baby J. Like everybody love Baby J. It's her energy, right? Her personality, so vivacious. You know what I'm saying? She always happy, always smiling. Even though her teeth look like look calculator pieces. She don't give a shit about that. She's still gonna smile. I seen Baby J one time. Gave her a hug. Just hugged her. She smelled like Popeyes. It was beautiful. Baby J, her beautiful self, she built like a chocolate chicken McNugget. <laughs> no, nah, all jokes aside, man, real shit. I love y'all, man. Respect to y'all. A hundred episodes is not a oh small feat. God. It's not easy, dog. And y'all doing that. Keep that consistency. The Salute. same way y'all consistently don't eat no vegetables. <laughs> you didn't take it back. <laughs> nah, real shit, man. Love y'all. Keep it going man can't wait till i can come down and be a part of the movement man big facts we appreciate everybody rocking with us the 100th episode of big facts make sure y'all check us out online www.bigfactspod.com salute appreciate you Wee, for pulling up and of course we're keeping going you know what i'm saying it's just 100 we're gonna keep going salute